uh, Arena Tutorials, also known as uh, Clown School. And uh, today we are going to talk about Byzantines. Uh, so yeah, we have the tech tree open and uh, let's see, let's see what we can do with the sieves. Let's see the bonuses. The defensive civilizations, which have buildings, plus 10 HP, Dark Age, plus 20 in Feudal Age, plus 13 Castle Age, plus 13 Imperial Age. Also, Camel Riders, Skirmishers, Spikemen, Halves, cost uh, minus 25%, so the trash is cheaper for Byzantines. Fire ships is not really important for us in Arena. Advanced to Imperial Age costs 30% less, that's quite important for Arena. Downwatch 3, Unique Units is a Catapract, Unique Decks, Greek Fire, doesn't matter to us. And Logistica, Catapracts use Trample Damage. Also Team Bonus, Mana Steel 50% faster. So uh, that's the bonuses of the sieve, we can go all, uh, over the tech tree a bit. They see, we see that they have great archers, they have arbalest, they have cheap trash, skirmishers, uh, they have halves, cheap halves, they also get heavy cav archer and champions, but that's not really something we want to use. Hussars, they even get paladins, um, heavy camels, but again, that's units that we usually don't go uh, when we are playing as Byzantines, they have sea drums, which is super important. They don't get sea challengers, they get bombard cannons, uh, and uh, that's about it. So we are wanna, uh, gonna watch a game versus Holo Holo. And he will be playing as the uh, Turans. And we are Byzantines, so let's jump straight into the game and we're gonna discuss what we want to do with Byzantines, how to place them, and uh, we will see what I did here. And we will think if I did the right choices or not. So, with Byzantines we have a few options uh, to go. Since uh, the towers uh, have extra HP, uh, Trash can be a good uh, option to go with uh, uh, Byzantines. So that's something you might want to consider, but for the sea like Tudons, you obviously don't want to do that, because Tudons have uh, better towers. Um, another option is uh, the Monk Rush, because uh, Byzantines get uh, full tech tree for uh, the Monks, so uh, it can be a good idea to do that. Uh, another option, well, is to play it uh, usual, as other generic sieves, to go for scouts, take map control, take relics. Uh, and another option for us is uh, to just boom. So uh, this game I was thinking, okay, I'm facing the students here. What can I do versus students? If this game goes uh, to trash, I'll probably lose. If this game goes to Imperial Age, I'll also probably lose versus uh, students, Siege Onagers and Monks and Halps. So I think I thought to myself, well, my best way to play here, my best way to go here with Byzantines is to use the advantage that I can go up faster and to do an early push before he can get his upgrades on the castle, before he can get crenellations, before he can get siege onagers, and to try to hit him there. Mm. So the build order I, would, I want to do for this is a normal build order, which means 25 plus 2. I decided I don't want to go for scouts, I decided I want to go uh, and try to take as many relics as possible, then try and do a fast uh, boom and uh, to attack early on. Let's fast forward a bit, you can see the build order, uh, 6 on ship, let's slow down a bit, 6 on ship, 4 on berries, then uh, taking the boar, another 4, uh, okay, sorry, <laughs> that was confusing. 6 on food, 4 on uh, wood, 2 on berries, get the boar, another 2 on berries, get another boar, and we see from there. Okay, now it's straightforward, we have 4 on wood, 4 on berries. And get the second war. This is my usual uh, fast castle build order. Now I'm gonna make the second lumber camp. Time to get the deers as well. 
So two more on wood now. And we'll try to get the deers. Now two on gold. Don't forget the house, obviously. And then one more on berries, and we are ready to go for the fast castle. Okay, let's speed up. Our guy here, um, I was scared. I was scared of a trash. I was also scared uh, that he will out boom me, that he will go for scouts, maybe to try and take the relics. But in the end, he didn't do any of that. So once we hit Feudal Age Market, Blacksmith, two more on wood, and then I will show you my uh, villager placement when we are up into Castle Age. So we have six villagers in one lumber camp, six more in another lumber camp. Actually, have seven for some reason. Probably uh, forgot one. I will move it later. I think two on gold, five on berries, and the rest are on deer, sheep, farms, and so. You see, I noticed, and I brought him back here to make a farm. So now uh, everything is set. Okay, another reason I didn't mention in the last video, uh, which is something that is quite important for Arena, is always when you send your scout out on Arena in 1v1, I always put my scout on an uh, aggressive stance, and I use patrol to scout the map. Why is it good? Because uh, losing a scout in Arena can be crucial. Like, if uh, you don't have a scout and your opponent has a scout, it's so much easier for you to take the relics. So if you put your scout on aggressive stance and you always tend to patrol, uh, there is no chance that uh, the enemy player will surprise you with, uh, with a hit. And even though you're not paying attention, which was uh, what was happening here, you see I got two hits and I wasn't paying attention to the scout, but the scout was patrolled on aggressive stance, so it attacked by itself, and now I have the advantage in the scout war. Now we're gonna reach Castle Age, I'm gonna add to Town Center, I'm gonna add uh, a monastery to take the relics, which is uh, very, very important in 1 vs 1 arena. If you don't have the relics and the game goes to Imperial Age, you are kinda mm, screwed, let's say. Let's see, I'm doing a Town Center on the gold, I'm doing a Town Center, I'll probably do a Town Center on the wood, I don't remember really. My guy is going for. Uh, Three times after boom, but we're more focused on uh, the bite and things here. So yeah, I'm adding a certain center, doing the wheelbarrow, and I'm gonna fight for the relics. Okay. So always try to patrol with your scout, try to snipe the monks. And I remember that I misclicked here, so both of us lost two monks, but that was silly. Always try to pay attention to your scout when you are fighting for the relics. So the boom continues. We want to go on gold, on gold early. You want to go uh, as many farms as possible. And soon I'll uh, want to add uh, builders on stone because I know that I'll need traps to take his castle down. I'm sure he will have a castle. The fight for the relic continues here. I'm trying to mess more monks because I know his scout is out there. So I'm waiting even for three monks in Sand City before I go out again. With three monks it should be fine. You should be able to convert uh, convert a scout when you have three monks. You see, both both of us converted. So we actually switch scouts here. I sacrifice one monk so the other one can get get back home, which is something you want to do because if they went together, both monks would have been dead. He has sensitivity, so you don't want to fight that. You see, with sensitivity, I converted his scout before he got the monk, and now I remember I screwed here. Like I misclicked, and then <laughs> I, I lost both scouts. I killed one monk but lost two scouts. That was silly. So in the end I got two relics somehow and I actually converted another scout, that was great. Let's uh, check the economy a bit. I have, uh, you see I have nine uh, villagers advantage which is huge at uh, this stage of the game. I don't know actually why I have such a big advantage but oh well. 
So I have a lot on gold, I have a lot on food. I actually forgot that I'm Byzantines. I guess I could have clicked up earlier, <laughs> but I'm up. And uh, now I'm thinking, okay, he's... Uh, he's uh, Teutons. He'll probably go Halbs. I guess uh, I want to go for archers to try and snipe those halves, and I want to go cannons to snipe uh, the siege onagers. That's basically the plan. I didn't expect him to go for paladins. So there is no need for me to go for halves. And let's see. University run up in is super important because you want to get chemistry as soon as possible to get those cannons out. I'm adding some ranges. And I lost the scout. And now I was thinking, should I go out for a forward castle? Like, he has monks. He has to scout that he converted. I have... Yeah, I have four monks. Oh, and that's something... Uh, something risky I did here. Again, I want to mention it. So... I don't know if I said yes to do it or not. Especially when you are facing Teutons. Like, I knew he had monks. But I thought to myself, man, this guy is probably not an arena player. Also, is that something you need to do when you're playing arena? You need to analyze your opponent. You need to think, is, is it, does this guy know arena? Does he know how arena is played? I thought, well, he probably is not an arena player. Let's get a tournament. Even though his monks convert my monks way easier since he has resistant bonuses students, I thought, okay, let's try and get a tournament. Maybe I can convert his monks. And it paid off, you see. He didn't have a tournament, so he had to delete both of his monks. He was gonna go forward too, so now a tournament gave me a huge advantage since he lost two monks. He was trying to send two scouts to snap a monk, but I had uh, Sand City, I had four monks. No way for him to take it down. I actually misclicked and I converted only one scout, which is bad. And I'm doing the forward castle. But he had nothing to defend. So I'm sending. I decided to do a few spearmen just to fight the scouts. I'm adding some crossbows, but I didn't have any production buildings. And I wasn't paying attention here. I was mainly focused on the castle, on the quick walls. And am I quick enough? Yes! Save. He did a petty castle too, which uh, I didn't like this castle at all. Yeah, he's defending his gold, but. Uh, well, we are both gonna get our castles up, but I mean Imperial Age already, he's at 75%, so that was very good for me. It took me some time to do traps. I had, uh, as soon as you get a castle up, especially in a scenario like this, you want to get traps out as soon as possible, and uh, I took my time. I saw that I want cannons, so I'm adding siege workshops, adding more ranges. And then I noticed, man, I'm not doing a trap. Inside, I am adding it. Okay, he's an imp too. I'm doing the chemistry, so we'll be able to get those cannons out soon. Yeah, you see, he's doing barracks and siege workshop. He wanted to go for half onager, but he's under pressure. Uh, his gold is under pressure, and his uh, his plan kind of got denied for now. Okay, Treb is out, chemistry will kick in. Now, obviously one thing we didn't talk about, uh, considering Byzantines is, well, probably Byzantine's iconic unit, Cataphracts, which is a crazy unit versus uh, Halbs and so, but, uh, but yeah, chances of you going Cataphracts on Arena is not big. Usually it happens when the game uh, goes long, but this wasn't the case today. For a game like Z vs. Teutons, I decided Arbalest and Cannons is the way to go here. He tried to add Rams in the end uh, and some Petards, but there was no way it was gonna work. Cannons do quite well versus Rams in small, in small numbers. Uh, his first castle went down. Let's speed forward a bit. He just couldn't uh, mass military. Both of his golds got de kind of denied by my castle, and uh, he had to struggle from here. Cannons doing the job, and GG called. That's the way to go, I think, with Byzantines versus Sith like uh, Turons. You need to win as soon as possible. 
Um, so, hope you learned something from this tutorial's voice. Uh, if you have any questions about Byzantines or about Arena, you can uh, leave uh, a question in the comments. I'll definitely answer them. And uh, if there is any other series that you prefer to see in my next tutorial, please let me know in the comments. Uh, because Byzantines was asked after my first tutorial, so here we are. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like uh, and subscribe on YouTube. Sell out and see you in the next video. Bye bye.